writers. So I've been thinking a lot about these details that we're adding to our stories to bring our characters to life. And they're really just things that are happening on the outside and the inside of people. So you know that one detail you can add to your writing is what characters were doing. You can make characters move. You also know you can add what you or other people were saying. You can make characters talk. We said that the word for that is dialogue. Today, I want to teach you that you can also bring out what's happening on the inside of you in your story. You can tell what you were feeling and you can tell what you were thinking. So we call that making people feel and making people think. You can use phrases like, I felt because I thought and tell what you were thinking. And this can make your story really meaningful. So I wanna show you how I do that in my story, just like I've been doing every day. And then you're going to have the chance to try it today. And I really hope you do because this can make your story really special. So this is the last part of my story about saying goodbye to my friend, Hillary. So in the beginning, we were sitting on the porch and I was sad. In the middle, my mom suggested that we tell some favorite memories of the summer. And this is the ending. This is the part where we really had to say goodbye. So let me read you what I have so far in this part. It was time to Hillary, for Hillary to go catch her plane. We had a big, long hug. So I'm thinking, hmm, could I add what I was feeling or what I was thinking into this part or both of those things? Hmm. I felt sad because I knew I wouldn't see Hillary in a long time. That's how I, I was feeling. Let me add that. I felt sad because I knew I wouldn't see Hillary for a long time. Okay, so I added what I was feeling. Now let me see if I can add what I was thinking in my head or what I could have been thinking in my head. I was probably thinking, what was I thinking? Probably something like, don't go, don't go. I thought to myself, or I thought, don't go. Or I was thinking, I was thinking. And I can make it like the words I'm saying in my head. So I'll use these little marks. I was thinking, don't go. Hmm. Yeah, that was a sad moment. I felt sad because I knew I wouldn't see Hillary for a long time. I was thinking, don't go. So I just showed you writers how I can bring out the inside of what was happening to me in my story. I can tell, and you can tell, what you're feeling. You can use words like, I felt because. And you can tell what you were thinking with words like, I thought, or I was thinking. And that helps your reader know about your feelings in the story. So here's your big work for today. And let's, let's, let's do a little practice right now. I want you to look at your story or a story that you have in front of you. And I want you to find a part where you had a big feeling, a part where you think that you could add feeling and thinking. And I want you to take your finger and I want you to put your finger on that part. Did you find it? Now, I want you to ask yourself, what could I write here? What was I feeling in this part of my story? 
in just one moment. You're going to go to my Zoom and practice this with a partner. Make sure you're ready to share where you can add what people were feeling and what people were thinking in your story. Van a ir a mi Zoom y hoy lo que vamos a practicar es que vamos a platicar sobre lo que la gente en su historia estaba sintiendo y lo que la gente en su historia estaba pensando.